show in the whole wide world that's fyi radio show with your host miss yolanda the lady hinton i'm ed every the co-host the music that you hear in the background is none other than miss yolanda the lady hinton where i am now and if you'd like to see us live in WGPL 1350 Studio, WMVA 88.9 Studio, all you have to do is go to Edward Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda, the Lady Henson's Facebook page, and guess what? You can see us live right here in the studio. And if you want to hear us all over the world, all you have to do is go to 1400 AM or 1350 AM. And guess what? You can hear us all over the world. And now I want to introduce to some and present to others the host of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton, and a pleasant good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. E. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you, could you, will you be my neighbor? Let's welcome our neighbors, our WGPL 1350 AM listeners. Peace 95.3 FM, WPCE 1400 AM, and WMVA 88.9. Facebook Live is on and popping. Good morning, Miss Lawanda Tillett. Happy Friday to you. Let's also welcome Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll shout you out later on in the show. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have friends on Facebook Live, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. And you'll shout them out? I'll shout them out, especially if you go to Crystal Records 1. That's on YouTube, C-R-I-S-T-O Records 1. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We will appreciate it. That's right. I give you a shout out. Absolutely. Mr. E, it is fun Friday. That's right. It's fun Friday. I want to say good morning to Miss Tiffany Parks. And thank you so much for tuning in to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. Fun you got Friday. A joke? It's the weekend. I don't have a joke, but I tell you what, I'm very excited, Mr. E. It's the weekend. It's the weekend, Yay! and I just got paid. I tell you what, and I'm also excited because we have the current job list. That's right. If you need a job, if you need a J-O-B, all you have to do is right, get your pen. Go down to Federal Express. Go to the North International Airport. Go down to Brown. You know, UPS trucks. Go go down to Lowe's and Home Depot. Yeah. And guess what? They're hiring. But here's another one that we have posted already on Facebook. Mm-hmm. is for kids uh, looking for a mental program coordinator, a uh, re-meditation assistant. For kids. All right. Animal Care Tech and Virginia Beach. That's the SPCA. Uh, also, Conservancy. Uh, that's Well, that closes at 2 24 That's today. Uh, check them out. They need an executive director as well. We have the After School Assistant for Kids, the uh, organization they need. Uh, that after school assistant, and we have the uh, Mariners Museum 
Uh, they're looking for a grant writer. That's right. The Maryland Museum looking for the Norfolk Public Library is looking for a graphic design assistant. They're also looking for a community outreach ambassador. They're also looking for a substitute program providers for youth services. Absolutely. Housing stabilization specialist for the LGBT Life Center, uh, grant billing coordinator for that same organization, medical case manager uh, as well at the Life Center, transportation specialist at the LGBT Life Center, and Mr. E. That's right. Chief development officer at Goochland Care, uh, Director of Human Resources uh, at the Union Jewish Federation, a Development Director at the Jewish Federation, also a Development Q Community Campaign at the Jewish Feder Federation. Absolutely. Human Resources Manager, Hampton Roads Community Action Program, Instructor, Norfolk Rosie Riveters, Instructor in Newport News, uh, Respite. Uh, field monitor, Mr. E, the planning council, and it closes to 27. That's right. The LGBT Life Center is looking for a director of philanthropist <laughs> at Bethel Salone Village yes. at in the NHBC, NHBS field interview. Crew is looking, crew chief at the Tide Water Winds and a uh, risk Recreation specialist and YT at the city of Suffolk applied by February 27th. All right, there's some more jobs. Client services coordinator at the Latinos in Virginia Empowerment Center. They need a program director in Chesapeake Girl Scouts, uh, director teen services at Boys and Girls Club. That's going to close at 22824. The LGBT Life Center also is looking for a development director at Zeal Americans Team Theater. Right. The Virginia Living Museum has nine positions available. So if you're looking for a job, they're looking for a bird manor culture, yeah. a chief operational officer, a custodian, an exhibition coordinator, a guest engagement so associate, a holy cost, a master dome fossil preparator, a manager of nutrition center, a senior director of the living exhibit. All right, a whole bunch of jobs. And we've already got them listed. Uh, you can go to uh, my page, personal page, Yolanda Henson, Edward Evans' personal page, FYI's page, LinkedIn, you name it, it's there. That's if right. you have a job, if you don't, even if you don't need a job, make sure you keep those listed and send them to friends and family uh, or post them in our community uh, events throughout the city and uh, let folks know that there are some wonderful jobs available. Because it's still early in the year. It's yes. only February. So listen. Let them get a job. Absolutely. So, Mr. E, we still are celebrating Black History Month. That's right. And today we're going to highlight a Black American women inventors. That's right. That's and, right. And uh, I am just thrilled because uh, this is a time where we can teach our children, our community, uh, family, and other races, who we are, what we've done, and we've done a lot. And uh, it is just absolutely uh, inspiring. And uh, we're also grateful for this time to be able to uh, celebrate. You know, Ms. Simpson, when we begin to look at the, the, the ladies and what they have invented, here's one by the name of Miss Shirley Jackson, uh -huh. a fiber octave cable. As the af first African-American woman to graduate with with a, a doctoring in partial physics, Dr. Shirley Jackson invented all the foundations for a lot of modern technology. She started her career at Bell Telephone. We just had a, yes. a, a representative from Bell yes. yesterday. Bell Telephone helping to invent development like touch tone dials and call waiting. Wow. Yeah. You all gonna hear some great inventors and they're not just making little teeny things. These are women in science and That's math right. and uh, all kind of fields that really have done, done great things. 
we have Marie Von Britton Brown. Oh, she did the home video security system. That's this right. Evening. That's right. She did the video security system. And Valerie Thompson did the 3D movie. Oh, that is awesome. Sharon E. Gordy, she made the fold out bed. Absolutely. Then yeah. we have Reese uh, Huntley. Yeah. A con uh, contact lock system. Count, count. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, count, I, Mr. East, this might be so, so bitty. Mr. Go ahead. And, contactless uh, lock system. Absolutely. You know, I always want to know what a contactless lock Give system us some is. Information. In 2019, yes. computer electronic and engineer Alfredo Ray Huntley came up with an idea to improve the restaurant pickup process. After she stood in line for 20 minutes to grab an order that's already waiting at the register. It just happened that Huntley and her co-founder, Jane Bagley, and Marcus Gunn had actually created a visual solution for countless order pickup during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. Yeah. That is absolutely awesome. Locker, those smart food lockers. Yes. Yeah. When you go to the grocery store, you see them right there and all you all your groceries right in there. Okay, so we have uh Ann Tuscamoto. She was a stem cell uh uh what's the isolated. Name? Isolation, <laughs> yeah. You all, this, this writing is so little, and I have the nerve to, to have a procedure I'm going to do in my eye. You know I cannot eat it. Leader D. Newman. Leader D. Newman. She invented the hairbrush with synthetic bristles. Oh, yeah. wow, yes. Fossic wand style, HIV test, and molecule knife. See, that's what I'm saying, Mr. E. These are not any little inventions. That's right. These that's are right. things that are needed. That's by right. Those in this world. And it is absolutely awesome. Alice H. Parker, central heating system with natural gas. And you need that heat. Wow. Jan uh, Janet Emerson, uh, link line software. Bessie Bart Blunt Griffin, a feeding tube. Oh, my goodness. And they awesome. need these things. I was wondering, uh, I was just thinking. How long did it take for them to actually invent these things? Did it take a try, you know, over and over and over again? Just like George Washington Carver, him uh, inventing, uh, uh, but it took him years and years and years to uh, actually, uh, you know, get a good, good patent and a great creation. I wonder if it happened the same way with the women here. Mm. But uh, Miss Lee, go ahead. And something that we use every day. Miss Sharon Boone invented the iron board. Oh my goodness. Mary oh. Davidson Kenya sanitation belt. Absolutely. Absolutely. For women. <laughs> yes, definitely. Go ahead, Miss Eve. Miss Ellen uh El Elgium, she invented the ringer for the washing machine. Marjorie Jonah, she permanent press wave machine. Okay. And and uh Marine Elizabeth Benjamin going and single chair, signal chair. Judy Reed invented the dough needle and the roller, and and uh Tara Smith, the automatic double dutch oh, jump yeah, rope cool. machine. Now, I've never seen that. I, I mean, you know, I know that the girls, you know, we we, we did the double ditch yeah. back yeah, in the, the day, double dutch but a machine, I have never seen that. Yeah, yeah. And Simeon Paskotsky, the plant tissue culture, and Olga, I ain't messing with that lady name. Just spell it. <laughs> she, 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 she invented the long cycle life nickel hydrant, hydrant battery. Did you do Patricia E. Bath? She did the cataract uh, treatment. She invented that. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. The cataract treatment. Yeah. Yes. And that's all of them. That's it. That's I mean, 21, but that's a lot. Now they got some up here with my girl, Miss Beyonce. They said in the immortal world word of Beyonce, women are smart enough to make these millions 
strong enough to bear children, then get back to business. However, history has always documented or supported women accomplishments in the same way that it has its male inventory. And this is a short list. There are so many inventions uh, from women, African-American women. You all make sure you research, uh, share. Hopefully they're teaching it in the schools, Miss Lee. That's right. You know, one of the things that they need to do is put this stuff into the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. So our children, whether they be uh, African-American, black, white, red, green, purple, or orange, that they can learn about African-Americans. Absolutely. We want to say good morning to Miss Shannon Blanco and say congratulations to her and her boys uh, graduating from college. That's my grandson's mom. I love her. She's done a wonderful job. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, and Mark Howard, thank you. Good morning, Sheila Robbins. Mr. E, anybody else on Instagram? We'll say good morning LinkedIn. to Mr. Ricky Hobbs. Ricky, he's going to be our special guest in yeah. March. Yeah. Good morning, Ricky. He said, God, mama. That's my godson. <laughs> he used to call Ricky Man. Yeah, God, yes. mama. Yeah. Looking forward to talking with him uh, and uh, finding out more about his uh, career, his businesses, and uh, just want to uh, you know catch up with him and all the things he's doing. So on uh, the first Wednesday of March, we will be talking to Mr. Ricky Hobbs. That's, that's so uh, Mr. E is just wonderful. I'm very excited again about uh, women, African American women, all the things that they've done. You all make sure you all uh, join us in March because we're going to be highlighting uh, more women. That's and, right. Uh, that's right. It's just going to be a, a fantastic time because, you know, we are full of some great things. We've done great things and uh, we really want to celebrate uh, um, the things that we've accomplished. You know, speaking of celebration, I think today is one of our good friends and some kin to you, oh. Miss Monica Martin. Birthday. What is it? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, how the world could I forget? Because I just mentioned it on yesterday. Happy birthday, Monica. I love you. That's my niece. She is like a sister. She's a sister, niece, mom, a friend. And I want to say happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. But Mr. E, I'm excited. Uh, and I am going to make an announcement soon to launch, going to be launching my new single, Make It All Right. You all are going to be able to get it probably this weekend. Yeah. Uh, no later than Monday, you can go to iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, wherever music is sold. It's called Make It All all right, the new single, and we're going to debut it real soon yeah, yeah, here yeah. Uh, on FYI. That's right. That's right. Make it all right. So you make it your business to go out and get it. Go Absolutely. out and get it. And, you know, and, and it's a great sound, great music. And, and you know, we congratulate Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton, yeah. for her new music coming out. Well, Mr. E, we did a challenge uh, the first of the year. That's right. That's right. right. That's we right. did a health challenge, health and wellness challenge. You know, most of the time, people... Uh, make those New Year's resolutions, or they set goals, and they want to change their lifestyle. And so we did a challenge and said it is definitely time to do some things. I know you met the challenge. That's right. I met the challenge. We're just doing a little report card on where we are now. You know, Miss Hinton, I just want our listening audience to know that because we made the challenge, I was at 245 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Did you come down, Mr. I, I, I came down almost uh, uh, 12 pounds. Well, that is marvelous. Yeah, so I'm now at 233. Okay, so what things did you change? I changed my eating habits. Okay. One of the things that, you know, they said in the, uh, that 80, uh, eat, changing your eating habits is 85% of weight loss. Wow. And so what I did, I changed my eating habits. I listened to my stomach. And when it says full, I I, I drank plenty of water. Uh, I'm only not trying to, I'm not really trying to eat up everything that I see. <laughs> Late night snacks and cookies and peanut butter. And uh, I'm not even messing with jelly beans and candy and things of that yes. nature. So what I have done, I'm eating a uh, 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 like two times, three times a day, which there are small 
small meals, like a Very muffin good. in the morning or some oatmeal. And at lunch, one of my favorite salads is a kale salad. Oh, wow. They're definitely good. So kale I'm eating salad. a kale salad for lunch. And then I go back and eat a small morsel of fruit or something in the evening. Working out, I hope. That's right. I'll start my workout. Uh, really working out in March. I have a young man that uh, I'm going in the gym and him and I are going in there together. His name is Mr. Justin Chase. I'll be <laughs> going into the gym. All right, then. You know, and working Justin out is with him. built. That you, yes, you know, he's going to work you hard. That's, that we're going in there together. I'm just going in there just to work out long with him, not to out overdo it, not to, you know, show him that because he's a beast. He's a beast. Yeah, he's a beast. I'm telling you, not only him, uh, Miss Chase got another son. Both of them That's are right. tall and yeah. handsome men. That, and they, I know they stay in the gym. But I'm going in the gym. But uh, I'm going to go there one day a week or something like that in the gym. But I'll be in my gym, you know, working it down in in March, oh. working the machines. Yeah. Well, you're off on a good start. I'm That's telling right. you. Now, this is some things that I'm doing. And I want to uh, let our audience know that these are some of the things that you can do. Uh, I'm reporting, a, first of all, I recommend that people go to the doctor first. That's right. Go, go to, to your doctor, uh, get all your numbers, uh, make sure you are uh, your blood pressure and uh, your cholesterol, all that stuff is on point. If not, you know, discuss with your doctor some of the things that you need to do in order to get your numbers right, regulated and everything. Also, uh, and I'm, I'm glad to do that because sometimes people are a little nervous about going to the doctor. That's right. White but, coat syndrome. Yes, that nature. But I recommend it, go to the doctor first and then uh, change, you know, some of your eating habits. I know I changed mine. I had a pretty decent, uh, uh, you know, regimen, but I decided to do a little bit more. So I, I don't eat at a certain time, after a certain time. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been exercising like one to two times a week at the gym. Um, also, you know, doing a little weight training and things like that. Um, certain, you know, to keeping too many sugars out of the body. What else? Uh, the, uh, sodas, pushing that aside, a whole lot of unnecessary. That's right. That's right. And then, you know, scheduling meals is key for me. But um, I'm really, I feel like I'm uh, at a good start, Mr. E. Uh, I really don't want to lose a, a lot of weight. I would maybe like five pounds, and, and no more than that, uh, if any. Uh, but, you know, I just want to make sure I'm healthy and keeping up with uh, what I have to do, my numbers, and making sure they stay stable and, and everything. I want to drop down to 199 pounds. So I'm going down. I'm going down. That's 30 so many, 33, 34 pounds that I'm really trying to drop. Well, you can do yeah. it. You're on a good start. And we just want to encourage you all to join our uh, fitness uh, and health challenge. You know, don't you know? Don't ignore your 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 health. You that's only right. have one that's body. That's right. That's right. One that's body, right. and you need to take care of that as much as possible. You know, sometimes we can start little. That's right. Uh, we can start with if you know if we a person that loves the snack, maybe less snacks, maybe less less of a you know of everything. You know, sometimes you know it's hard to give up habits and things like that we've done for years and things like, uh, you know, the way we eat. But I'm saying little by little, you can pull away from certain things. Now, if you're a picky eater or if you like to snack and eat, here's a great snack that would turn on to me. It's those those uh, honey oaks Cheerios. Uh -huh. You know, they're really? hard. Yeah, yeah. They're heart healthy. They're good for your heart. And, you know, and they're just a great snack if you got to snack on anything. Wow. Well, I tell you what, I'm like I said, we're on a great start. We want you all to meet the challenge. Start walking, start moving, start doing something. Go to the doctor, drink plenty of water and just, you know, have a good state of mind. You know, it's not all the, about physical because we're more than physical, you know, but uh, uh, get something that's going to help you uh, motivate you uh, uh, for the soul and for the spirit, you know. Uh, read the Bible or listen to some great yeah. uh, messages or talk with a group of people that are very positive. Take yoga or, or something, a class that just elevates uh, you and, you know, just make it 
more than, like I said, just the physical body. Make it so you can be a well-rounded individual. And that's what it's all about, Miss Hanton, the dropping that weight. Because if you know it, or know it or not, if your waistline is more than certain numbers, 38 or more, 40 on a man, um, then you're carrying that virus with you, the high blood pressure, diabetes, and things of that nature. You're carrying that virus, which is only sitting in that, what I call the done lab. Mm -hmm. You know, when you got a done lab, get rid of done and lab. <laughs> get because it done, done. It, especially when you got to go buy belts. When you buy belts and they done bent over and, you know, yes. get rid of them. Absolutely. You know, uh, again, we we're talking uh, earlier about uh, Black History Month. Mr. E, what does Black History Month mean to you? You know, when I listen to Black History Month, I know about Black History Month is the accomplishments, mm -hmm. you know, that we have done, that we have, that they have done and made ways for us mm -hmm. at this junction of our lives to be able to do what we do. You know, like, for example, going out there and voting. When you go out there and vote, yeah. you can select the right candidate. And all the things that they had invented back there in the days to make work much easier for them is real easy for us today because we need washing machines. We need mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, uh, chiropractors. We need cable, uh, uh, cable and we need fiber yeah. cable. We, we, we need the ironing board, you know, and a lot of people still putting clothes on top of the bed and ironing them at the corner of the bed. <laughs> but we need them washing machines and hair brushes and things of that nature. So all those in uh, all that they had to do back in the days of old to make it, you know, uh, we need Absolutely. math and geography. We need those things. So, yeah, when I look at uh, Black History Month, it's saying to me all the things that we have accomplished. Absolutely. I love Black History Month. I celebrate it. Uh, it is, uh, shows me how far we have come, That's right. what we've gone through, and uh, what we've learned about one another, what we've taught other races, what we uh, have endured, and uh, how grand we are. That's we right. have to teach our children how great and how grand they are. And as though we uh, have a history of uh, slavery. Honey, we didn't stay there. It wasn't meant for us to stay there. God had a plan, and I am so glad he brought us out of darkness, That's and he right. brought us into the marvelous light. He, he's given us salvation. He's given us our skills and talents. Couldn't nobody take that from us. That's right, and you and you got freedom. You can run your own house. Nobody has to tell you to get up in the morning. Nobody's standing on you, calling you out of your content. Yes. You know, nobody's making you do what you got to do. You do what you what you what they want you to do. You can do what you want to do anytime you feel like it because you got freedom. We fought for where uh, we we are. We we have fought to become what we are. We've even had an African American president, That's right. first lady, thought? and family, something that uh, my mom never saw. And a woman as a vice president. You know, and it is, it's just a marvelous thing, absolutely. So our history is great. We've accomplished so many things. And look, we, my, my mom never saw, your mom never saw a black president. Uh, we in this generation have, and uh, we may not see certain things that our children and our children's children will see that's going to be great, that's going to come out of our African-American uh, history and our uh, communities. Keep working on you. That's Keep right, working right. and believing and trusting uh, that you can do all things through Christ and that you can be all that God has us to be, just like anybody else. That's right. And all you got to do is keep on pushing. Don't give up, you know, and remember that the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong as he that endure until the end. We're going to have some great shows coming up for the rest of our Black History Month. And then we're going to be celebrating women in history, which I am excited about. And I'm really excited about. But uh, again, we'll have Mr. Ricky Hobbs to come on. We'll have a young lady that's going to come on uh, also talking about uh, women and homelessness. We have a lot of great shows for you. If you all have any yeah. suggestions, Mr. E's going to tell you how you can 
you know, reach us and uh, email us. But in the meantime, you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday. For the past 30 minutes, you've been listening to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show with your host, Miss Yolanda Lady Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. Don't forget to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9.30 to 10 right here in WGPL 1350 WMVA 88.9, Peace 95.3 FM, and WPCE 1400 AM. And, the so, and all social media platforms. If you'd like to be a special guest or sponsor of the most talked about radio show, all you have to do is give us a call at 757-714-7861 or you can email us at live at gmail.com or inbox us at Ed Whatever Facebook page, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton Facebook page or FYI Facebook page. And don't forget to have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. All right, all right. I tell you what, celebrating uh, Black History Month is absolutely awesome. I hope you all are thinking about Black history, thinking about, you know, what we can do to keep you know, our legacy going and, and educating our, our community. Uh, we hope that you all just, uh, you know, keep it mind and hype it up. Make it big. Make it big. You know, we are to be celebrated uh, and we should be celebrated. Also, listen, don't forget to meet the challenge. You all are going to have to get up and stop moving, honey. And uh, because it's, it's, it's good for you. It's going to be good for your health. Uh, and... Uh, for your wellness. We're going to continue the challenge. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. The wonderful thing about it, I don't think it's really hard because uh, for me, because little by little throughout the years, I've been challenging myself to do things, to change things. It's been a journey, but I think now I'm at a good place where uh, I can uh, definitely uh, you know, be comfortable with making big changes uh, in the way I eat, you know, my activity, my mindset, and, and that, let me see, that's key, Mr. E. I, I want to stress that because, you know, when we talk about health and wellness, a lot of times we think about the body and that's what right. to do with the body. But the spirit and the soul, you know, our thoughts and our mind have to be managed and we have to know how to manage it. That's right, that's right. You know, because once you clean out your temple, you know, mm-hmm. you will have some remaking and remolding because some stuff that has to be um, uh, you're going to filter out a lot of the fatty yes. tissues and waste, Detox, but you have yes. to have a right mind uh, and, and your thought patterns are going to be changing too Absolutely. because you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to feel some uh, 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 different ways in your body because now your body has been shot. Yes. You ain't no longer going to be carrying that load. Mm-hmm. When you start a detox and you start a cleaning your body, you're going to have some aches and pains. You're going to have some muscles shifting and you will yes. have some body pain, back pains and lower pains whatsoever. But guess what? It's because you now the shock the body and the, sh- and the body has to come around to, you know, to regenerate Absolutely. itself. Now, the thing about it is, you know, sometimes uh, we as folk have done a number on the body. That's we right. have consumed That's right. too much of this, too much of that, and too much of the other. Let me tell you why it's important to manage the mind uh, and your thoughts and get your soul and spirit right. Because there are times when uh, the damage that we've done can be irreparable. Is that the right word? That's yeah, right. Irreparable. And uh, we, we're going to have to now think in terms of faith and think in terms of uh, just still having peace and joy in our lives, regardless of our situation. You know, some people are suffering from all kind of illnesses. We got a lot of cancers. We got a lot of uh, diabetes. We got a lot of things that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, we got, what's that thing that women, there are a lot of women that are suffering from. Um, breast cancer. We got the breast cancer. Uh, we have, uh, uh, what is it? Tony Braxton has it. I can't think of the uh, disease. But I'm saying uh, sometimes we, have to deal and live with it. And it is a good thing if we 
have our heart and our mind rooted in something, someone that can help us to continue to uh, keep our faith. That's right. That's uh, right. And and help us to continue to uh, you know help us to stay positive. You know, when that body is at the place where it's, you know, breaking down. And so uh, so it's so important that we exercise and manage everything because uh, there are times when your mind and your heart and your faith is going to have to uplift that body. That's right. Which That's is right. not, you know, may not be 100. But again, there are things that we can do to change. Those things that you can do to change change it that's right the things i can yes. change i'm gonna change absolutely and the things i cannot change is just gonna be like water on the duck's back lupus <laughs> is the disease mr e lupus, lupus there's yeah. a lot of lupus going around yeah. and so for that reason you know uh we have to you know maintain a good positive uh, outlook on our lives and uh you know we have to take care of body you know i was telling you the other day mr e two things can be true you know you can be concerned about your health and you know you can you know uh end up with things conditions and things like that but another thing is true that you can continue to have faith have joy peace and happiness in your life regardless sometimes of what you're going through now that's right you can have you've got to have a great mindset a mind the mind is a terrible thing to waste and you got to have a great mindset so that you can move on and on and on. You live Absolutely. On. So we're going to continue our great shows. If you all have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to hear us cover, uh, anybody that you know that should be on FYI, we have spots open in March. Uh, we will be highlighting uh, a lot of our women history. So if you're a, wo a woman that really uh, doing some things that you feel as though our audience and our listeners and viewers would love to hear, let us know. Contact us. Mr. E will give you that information in a little bit. Uh, also, um, we want you to follow us on social media. We need the numbers. We need you all to, you know, uh, well, first of all, I want to thank you all because I got numbers from FYI, yeah. our page, and it is really growing. Uh, really excited about that. You all keep on uh, following us, telling people about it. You know, make sure you like and share our content. And uh, we definitely will appreciate it. Uh, also, the ladies' new music. Uh, in a little while, I will let you all uh, have the links to the new single, Make It All Right. Make It All Right is the name of the new single. And I will have the links. We'll do a launch. We'll do a video. I'm very excited about it. Very, very, very excited. Really upbeat tune and uh, worked hard to uh, have it, you know, sounding great and uh, feeling great. And so we're looking forward to uh, launching right. that new single, Make It All Right. All right, Bulbic Academy, please make sure you do that. Come to uh, BulbicAcademy.com uh, for the books, the game app, and so on and so on. But Mr. E, we forgot one thing and we have a few minutes. Mr. E, I think, tea time. He, I think Mr. E may have some tea. Miss Hinton, Miss Hinton, Miss Hinton. Mr. E, what kind of tea you serve? You serving up today? I, I, I'm serving. Let me serve. see, where is that thing? I'm is. serving up some tea what today. What kind of tea you serving? Um, uh, about and serve. about uh, your girl Wendy Weed. Oh my! Let's start with Wendy Weed. You know what is so sad about it, Mister E? It is just like, well, some people don't feel like it's sad, but I feel like it's a sad thing to see somebody come come from you know their youth, uh, their energy, and all of a sudden they have deteriorated uh, because of some things that she has confessed that she's done, drugs and different things. And uh, it's just a sad thing to see somebody come to where they are. Uh, some things fault of her own, but some things not fault of her own. It's just a process of how the body has just uh, broke down. They okay. said Miss Wendy Williams, a former Wendy Williams, has been diagnosed with primary progress of front front temporal dementia. Mm, dementia. Her so team young. says she's in a statement Thursday. She was diagnosed last year after undergoing several me medical tests. Her team said the condition had persisted significantly hurdle in Wendy's life. Wendy would have received confirmation of a diagnosis 
where it is not for the diligent diligent of her current care team who she chose at, at the uh, and the extraordinary work of specialism. Yes. Poe Wendy. Poe Wendy. I mean, Wendy, 65 okay, so, years old. Yeah, with dementia. With dementia. Uh, and other things. She is going, there's a specialist coming out, I believe, and uh, she's going to be talking as much as they, you know, she can, you know, communicate. Uh, other people are going to be highlighting some things that, you know, in, on her journey and stuff like that. But again, I say this, it is really sad to see, you know, a woman, you know, vibrant and going for, and uh, just, you know, it's just seemed like, <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody's praising the Lord. But um, yeah, it's just sad though, Mr. E, to see it. That's right. And then also when the Williams is, it's not, I'm sorry, 65 years old. Williams is 59. Yeah, I was wondering where'd you get 65 and she, from this and, and, and she was had uh she's not the only one that's dealing with loop, what you call it, lupus? Loop, uh, dementia. Bruce no, Willis. This, lupus? Uh, Who lupus, has lupus also. Okay. She's dealing with lupus and grave disease wow. in 2017. She fainted in the middle of a Halloween episode. The Wendy Williams show had, had but recovered the final episode. Okay, yeah. well, grave I'll tell disease. You what, what is grave disease? Grave disease. I don't know, but I tell you what. Yeah, she did have that. She that was the first thing she came out to talk about grave disease, and she talked about uh, uh, lymphedema, swelling of the legs, and and she fainted on set. You know, it's just been a terrible journey of sickness and. Uh, and everything. She says she uh, consumes so much cocaine throughout her life. Mm. And you know that uh, uh, breaks down the body, uh, certain things, and the kidneys, and it just breaks down a whole bunch of stuff. And so we're just really sorry I am to hear, you know, that she's uh, going to suffer with so many uh, things. Look, uh, Tiffany Haddish, talking about tea, honey, said, she said on the evening of Tuesday, February 20, Haddish, um, took to live streaming from an airplane in the 13 minute clip. Haddish explained that she was sitting in business class and sipping orange juice while waiting to take off to mm -hmm. Israel. She said, why not go? She's uh, continued to explain that she I can't believe everything she sees online. Instead, she needs to go to see for herself the shade room. Uh, she, look, she wants to go see you know, the country of Israel and is currently involved in a territory conflict with Hamas. And I'm like, girl, you. Is she I, crazy? I think I'd rather see it on TV, girl. She is. You dumb. know, we want to go everywhere, but I'm telling you, I don't know what would possess her. Now, I also heard that they are going to be doing some uh, the new uh, movie, uh, a part two movie, and uh, I forgot the name of the first one, but uh, I don't know if all that has to do with it. You know, just let me say this, Mr. E. This T right here to me. Some of these folks are doing a whole lot of this stuff for marketing, publicity, and all that. You know, uh, they are, you know, just kind of like pushing a lot of narratives out there, letting people hold on to it, negative things. We got Monique and her son supposed to be going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I bet you they the best of I bet you they the best of friends. I bet they are. You know too. what I'm saying? You just don't know how these folk are marketing themselves. You know, the negatives get people running to it. And so we've got to be careful with some of the stuff that we feed into, honey, because you know, some Ms. of this stuff is fake news. You know, Miss Hinton, when we when we begin to look at Monique, you know, uh, a reaction or video, Monique call him call him out doing oh, the show. Yes, you know her son allegedly her son, and you know why would a mother and a daughter? Why would a mother and a son? Go toe to toe with one another. Well, the thing about it, he's not going toe anymore. But he did respond. He said to uh, some of the comments she was making and calling his name and saying, you know, hey, they trying to reconcile. He said, no, we're not trying to reconcile that this is. We're not trying to reconcile. That's it for our, uh, you know, relationship. Our relationship. I'm yeah. going to make sure that I honor you. You're my mother, but and I'm going to tell my daughter about you. But that's going to be the end of it. Sis. Here's some great tea. Uh -oh. Them tennis shoes. Woo! Did y'all get y'all gold, but, fake gold tennis shoes? But here's the thing that gets me so much. I was I was told 
um, that on Fox News. Oh, yeah, did you hear that? That they said that African Americans love tennis shoes. Don't fall for that lie. We look, we don't love those tennis shoes, that, and we're not going to be pushed, Mr. E, into uh, you know, blackmail into buying you know, a whole bunch of you know, Ross got somebody. them on sale though. But the thing about it is, don't put us in the mix and keep trying to make a fool out of us. That's we, right. You know, that's right. If you want to sell your crap, if you're so powerful, put your stuff online and just let the folk that want them sell it. Don't try to uh, brainwash people into thinking we're going to run for it. There you go. You that, know. that they own Ross. Oh, Ross, okay. <laughs> Ross got them for twenty nine ninety seven. But look, Mr. He's going to tell you how you can be a special guest intern or sponsor <laughs> with FII Radio Show. We want you to have a wonderful weekend. We want you to look at the games, NBA, because we're going to be reporting on our NBA uh, for now on for a while. So look, just be safe. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And Mr. E, if you'd like to be a special guest, a sponsor, or intern on the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, all you have to do is give us a call at 757 714 7861. Again, that's 757 714 7861. Or you can email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. That's FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Or you can also give us an inbox at Edward Everett Facebook page, Miss Yolanda Lady Henson Facebook page, or FYI Facebook page, and let us know, hey, look, i like to be a special guest, a sponsor of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's all you got to do. Call us, 757-714-7861, or inbox us, or email us at live at gmail.com. If you'd like to be in our audience, that's right. If you want to be in, in our audience, just sit there, clap your hands every now and then. All you got to do is send us your email, and we'll email you back to let you know that, hey, we're pulling you in to be in our audience. That's all you got to do to be a special guest sponsor or uh, an intern of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. Don't forget to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9.30 to 10 on WPCE 1400, WGPL 1350, Peace 95.3, and WMVA 88.9 FM. See you all later. Two up. We love you. Thank you so much for Two your down. support. Bye now. Have a great weekend.